Chasing the stars will stride into the dawn Never back down till the battle is won Face each foe with hearts brave and true Unafraid of the unknown Because I'll face it all with you Hello, I'm the Review Reviewer. You review it, I review you. This is my partner, Mr. It. Today, we'll be taking a look at Hour 5 of Swade's Pokemon Violet Journey. Now that that's out of the way, let's move on to the more pressing issue of Highway here, right here. Seriously, I can't decide whether this family-friendly moon presence has one of the sickest character designs I've seen in ages or one of the corniest. It's right on the line. Personally, I think I would like the design better if her hair wasn't so freaking big. She's one perm away from looking like Mr. It. Me, 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 me. Sure. I haven't been so confused by a character design since Lucimine or as weirdly attracted to a hairstyle since Bayonetta. I have several questions. Like, when you say hairstyle, are you just talking about the obvious hair on the head or... all of it? Me, 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 me. She goes on to explain that in Paldea, when you beat the gyms and pass a championship assessment, which I'm guessing is the Elite Four, you aren't THE champion, you're A champion. Just a rank that's given to show you're a cut above other trainers. Wait, I thought that was Ace Trainers. Oh, well, anyway. Ace Trainers can be a sort of mid-rank between Elite Four slash champion and everyone else. I actually think this is a really good, well, I want to say retcon, but who knows, maybe Paldea really is the only one that does this, while every other region had that bizarre Jimmy Ringo style system of King of the Hill. Yeah, it's a nice system that keeps the glory of beating the greatest trainers without condemning the winner to an existence of constant battles at the end of a hallway and being mysterious to random strangers. Nah, that had nothing to do with being champion. That was just red being red. But yeah, she's a champion level trainer, which makes that battle feel even more patronizing in retrospect. You'd rather she stomp your fresh starter with her level 80 mons like Ash's first day in Johto? And then, as if on cue, the bell rings and I'm summoned to the principal's office. Oh! Oh wait, I'm in the staff room, they wouldn't do that. Well, there is at least one student in there. Salvatore, and he speaks French, ooh la la. Wouldn't that be Kalos... the end? Is there an official word for that? And boy, is he looking intense. I myself always pick up a piece of paper to read it, never just lay it on the desk like that. Unless the content just left me a freaking shell. Who died, Clever? I love that Swade makes that joke not knowing that there's actually an answer. Kind of. Wait, it's freaking GigaChad over here. Yes, it's one of the major differentiating aspects between the two versions, whether or not you want Jim Dad energy or Feral Cougar energy. For myself, the preference is clear. I do like a... a whew, Lady who knows what she uh, wants, is it hot in here? <laughs> but unfortunately, Miraidon and the aesthetic match of a purple theme won out. Hopefully we'll still meet domesticated Ayla from Chrono Trigger at some point. Sadly, no. Picking Violet is to condemn yourself to a sodaless existence. Me, me, me. You really need a better social circle, Professor? Probably. Well, off to the death bit. The unintentional foreshadowing. My, my dorm room in Pokemon is nicer and larger than my real life house. How did that happen? Legit kind of surprised they don't give you a roommate. With that aside, it's way too empty to not be filled with Nyx and or Nex as my journey progresses. Right. But there's one other way to fail. Stay away from the Crater of Secrets. Eh, the Forbidden Crater would be a bit more accurate as they're not trying to pretend it doesn't exist. But Crater of Secrets definitely rolls off the tongue better. This actually gives me a feeling of freedom I've not felt in a Pokemon game in a long time. I don't think ever to this extent. Let's go back inside and take more classes. Well, freedom is about being able to make your own choices, even if others don't necessarily agree with them. They... They still don't know where eggs come from. This is a biology class, man. Either they get their curriculum from Florida, or after decades of meticulous study by an entire branch of science, it's still a mystery where eggs come from? I mean, I get that, but do you really want the games to put the mental, or Arceus forbid, actual image of certain Pokemon laying eggs? Personally, I don't even like thinking about how real animals do it. I'd almost love to see the experiments. Okay, both compatible subjects are in a room with no exits. This time we will finally solve the- sorry, itchy nose. The mystery of- oh, come on! Me, 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 me. I say there's sexual dimorphism in Pikachu, but I just can't see it. Did this kid travel here from the original Game Boy, or what? I remember once hearing a headcanon that, in-universe, gender differences just aren't a thing in Kanto beyond the Nidoran line. Either that or Kanto is littered with transgender Pikachu. Also, apparently a small club has been started around the healing power of staring at Pokémon? Well, okay.
Forget the live action remake, I want how to train your dragon type. But yeah, that's the whole school checked out. Neat. I am guessing we'll have to report back at regular intervals for more classes and such. Have to? No. Can? Yes. Dang, there was a freaking dictatorship in this region ages ago. Screw Johto, make that the sequel to Legends Arceus. Yeah, nobody really saw Kalos being the correct answer, did they? Then onto the staff room to bug Ryfort. Swade, old and busted or new hotness. What? Old and busted or new hotness. That is not how she put it, but Arceus, damn it, I wish it was. Yes, I could see some use for this one. <laughs> Given that her hair ornament is a freaking Marshadow, I wouldn't be surprised if there was something more sinister going on with her. Come, Miraidon, let us trip the light fantastic and destroy the rooftops across this glorious region. Adventure awaits! After a nap. Swade knows exactly what he's doing. This video was fun. Honestly, the school stuff was kind of a slog for me playing Scarlet, so I give massive props to Swade for making it significantly more entertaining. Though I am really surprised that five hours in, he essentially just finished the tutorial. KH2 Twilight Town, eat your heart out. I'm the review reviewer. You review it, I review you. Alright, I've got my supplies ready, and I've enchanted the sphere so that if it gets stolen again, I can just call it back to me. We're all set. So, is there a particular reason why you wanted me on this mission? As opposed to, say, Mistis? Mistis still isn't doing too well after the last trip, so she's sitting this one out. And without her, it'll be good to have our official bodyguard join us in unknown territory. Besides, according to the Atlas, this place we're going to is like 90% water, so you'd be good to have around either way. Worry not, I shall protect you with my life. Hopefully it won't come to that, but it's appreciated. Moki, what gives? Sorry, uh, Dad? This thing only has inputs for the dimensional quadrants. I can't dictate exactly where in the new universe we'll land. Me 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 Well now, this is certainly the most lovely catch we've had in a while. Ladies, sir, Captain Dice at your service. Nice to meet you. Look, I don't mean to be rude, but can you excuse me for a minute? Oh, but of course! How can I possibly expect you to give proper introductions when you're soaking wet? While I imagine that's not a problem for your aquatic companion here, you two should find towels and some fresh clothes in the stateroom. Me, 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 me! Absolutely! And if you prefer, I should have a dress or two that'll fit you nicely. Thanks, but no thanks. Now hold on. Let's not be so quick to refuse this gentleman's hospitality. Nice try, Mila. First a spell to make warm water. And now one to dry us off. What? Did you really think I wasn't prepared for the possibility of getting wet? Well, I hoped. <laughs> well, aren't you three a delight? Mary lass, come meet our castaways. Oi, Captain. Mary? That be Mary Lassie, land lover. Stand down, Mary. So, it brings you lot to be stranded in the middle of the sea? Me, 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 me. Or, at the very least, information. Does the name Eunosis mean anything to you? He cannot mean Eunosis, the cartographer, can he? Me, me, me? We know of her, yes. Hmm. Mayhaps we can be of some help to each other. How do you mean? You see, my daughter back home is very ill. I've been on the sea for weeks, searching for a magic herb that is said to cure any illness. The Sundrop Flower? Ah, so you've heard of it. Yes. However, the island on which this flower blooms is not recorded on any chart. That is, except by one Eunosis. It's a bit of a long shot, I know, but if your research just so happens to include her findings... Well... We do have a map of this ocean from her. Shush! Oh, joyous of days! 
If you would be so kind as to help us find the island, I would be more than happy to share what I know. Perhaps we may even find some clues on the island itself. Deal. <laughs>